Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and ever, and forever. salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of them all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for those who enter it with faith, devoutness in the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our holy ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our God-loving Bishop Gregory, for our esteemed priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord <coughs> for the honorable government of our country and all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord city and for every city, village, and country, and for those who with faith dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord mercy. For healthful seasons, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord who travel by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, and for those who are held in captivity, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and want, let us pray to the Lord. on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, mercy. Commemorating our ever-holy, ever-pure, ever-blessed and glorious Lady, the birth-giver of God and ever-Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and adoration. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. from the epistle of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, see, I write to you in my own large handwriting. Those who are trying to force you to be circumcised are making a play for human approval with an eye to escaping persecution for the cross of Christ. The very ones who accept circumcision do not follow the law themselves. They want you to be circumcised, only that they may boast about your bodily observance. May I never boast of anything but the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through it, the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. It means nothing whether one is circumcised or not. All that matters is that one is created anew. Peace and mercy on all who follow this rule of life and on the Israel of God. Henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear the brand marks of Jesus in my body. Brethren, may the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Peace be with you, reader, it is wisdom. Be attentive. Generations. Amen. 
steadfast love was established forever. Your faithfulness is firm as the heavens. as we listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Let us be attentive. At that time there came to Jesus a man named Jairus, who was a ruler of the synagogue. And falling at Jesus' feet, he besought him to come to his house, for he had an only daughter about 12 years of age, and she was dying. As Jesus went, the people pressed round him, and a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years and had spent all her living upon physicians and could not be healed by anyone came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment and immediately her flow of blood ceased. And Jesus said, who was it that touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the multitudes surround you and press upon you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone forth from me. And when the women saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him, and how she had been immediately healed. And Jesus said to her daughter, your faith has made you well, go in peace. While Jesus was speaking, a man from the ruler's house came and said, your daughter is dead, do not trouble the teacher anymore. But Jesus on hearing this answered him, do not fear, only believe and she will be well. And when Jesus came to the house, he permitted no one to enter with him except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the child. And all were weeping and bewailing her. But Jesus said, do not weep, for she is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But Jesus, taking her by the hand, but taking her by the hand, Jesus called, saying, Child, arise. And her spirit returned, and she got up at once. And Jesus directed that something should be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Tomorrow, we commemorate the holy archangels Michael, Gabriel, and all the bodiless powers of heaven. It is no coincidence that we commemorate the angels in the month of November. November is the ninth month after March, and it was thought of many that the world was created in the spring. 
The ninth month was chosen because of the nine orders or nine ranks of angels that St. Dionysius, a disciple of St. Paul, writes. That there are six winged seraphim, many eyed cherubim, godly thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. We must be cautious, however, about ranking the angelic powers. We as human beings like to rank things in order of importance. This is not so among the heavenly hosts. Each order is created for a certain purpose. It is the seraphim, the sixth-winged seraphim, and the cherubim that are the closest to the heavenly altar. Yet at the same time, the archangel Michael is called the leader of all the heavenly hosts. The name Michael literally means who is like God. We sing this in this special hymn to St. Michael, O St. Michael, who is like God, angel in heaven, who ousted from heaven the devil to, to the depths of hell. We, see, we learn from the book of Revelations that a great battle took place in heaven between Satan and Michael. Chapter 12, verse 7 says, And a great war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was any place found for them in heaven any longer. So the dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast out to earth and all his angels with him. The angels of God have been commemorated by man from the earliest of times. I am quite sure that every one of us has an icon of our guardian angel or perhaps a statue of an angel or one of those that hangs from their mirror in their car. Some people have become so obsessed with angels that they look for them every place and everywhere in their lives. There was a man from the place I used to work that he went on an angel tour. They got a bus together and they were going to different places to look for angels. This may seem a little extreme, especially if it consumes much of their thoughts and their time. But you know, they are not really that far off. St. Nikolai of Zika teaches that, teaches that angels are constantly involved in this world and with our lives, constantly. In the Old Testament, there is a story of Joshua who was preparing for the attack of Jericho. God had promised Moses that he would take the Israelites to a land flowing with milk and honey, but the city of Jericho was standing right in the way. The Israelites were greatly outnumbered by the people of Jericho. And Joshua prayed to God and wondered how he would accomplish this great feat. He got his answer. When he was at the gate of the city, Joshua lifted his eyes and saw a man standing there before him with his sword drawn in his hand, ready to help. Joshua saw that the Lord had sent the archangel Michael to help them in the battle. The Lord God sends his angels to help us. Each and every one of us has a guardian angel that watches over us constantly. He will be there at our judgment as well to protect and defend and to help us. Priests are often asked the questions, do angels take on the form of human beings? And are there angels walking about us right now in human form? Well, the answer is, yes, they do take on human form. Holy Scriptures reveals that God sends his angels to us in human form, but they are not necessarily seen by all. The angels were sent to the people who were in deep prayer, and whose thoughts were solely on God and his salvific work. The fact is that there are angels all around us all of the time. 
As Orthodox Christians, we believe that our liturgy takes place in heaven. We worship together with all the angels. Right now, there are angels with us. When the priest makes the entrance, called the small entrance, when we carry the gospel around the altar, we say this prayer. The priest says, O Lord, our Master and God, who in heaven established the orders and armies of angels and archangels for the service of your glory, make this our entrance to be an entrance of holy angels serving together with us and glorifying your goodness with us. For to you are due all glory, honor, and adoration to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. That's the prayer of the priest as we're making the entrance of angels and us. We as human beings let our minds drift when we come to worship on Sunday mornings. We think of what had happened last night. It was a good trivia night. We think of maybe some problems that are going on at home. We think of what do we have to do this week? Boy, I hope the Steelers win or I'll be in a bad mood on Monday. We think about these things constantly, but we should be focusing on worshiping God with the angels, with the angels concentrating on the divine liturgy. If we do this, we will live our lives in accordance with God's holy will, and we will be able to see those angels. Jesus Christ saw Nathanael underneath the fig tree, and when he came to Nathanael, he said to Nathanael, you will see the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. You will see the angels of God focused mind on God. Join us tomorrow as we honor the Archangel Michael, Gabriel, and all the heavenly hosts, and we sing that angelic hymn of the anaphora, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth. That means Lord of heavenly hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. We do not sing this alone. The angels, the choirs of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim are all singing this hymn with us in the divine liturgy, in every divine liturgy, in the kingdom of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. Fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, and for our God-loving Bishop Gregory, for our spiritual fathers and all of the clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ, for their welfare, peace, health, salvation, and for the remission of their sins, and that the Lord our God may prompt and help them in all things. in this holy and venerable church, for those who labor in its service, for those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and abundant mercy, for those who have shown us kindness, and for all Orthodox Christians.
mankind and we give glory to you. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, always, now and ever and forever. of God, those who are celebrating their birthdays this week, Tommy Nipple, David Lucy, Carla Barley, and Anne-Marie Mlinarczyk. For the servants of God, those who are in need of our prayers, Roxanne Malaro and David Lucy, for their health and speedy recovery. For the servants of God, those who are joining us via the internet for their health and long life. 
for the departed servants of God, Vladimir Roscoe, on this the third anniversary of his falling asleep, for the departed servants of God, Catherine Butchak, Julia Masoriak, Elsie Deleva, Andrew S. Kret, Michelle Zvonik, Eric Dusseling, and newly departed Harry Gloa, for their blessed repose, and all you Orthodox Christians, always, now, and ever, and forever.
benefits and hidden benefits bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy, which we have found worthy to receive from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged and many-eyed, who soar aloft on their wings and who sing a cry out and proclaim the triumphant hymn, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. With these blessed powers, O Lord, and the Lord of mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you, and all holy. And the Holy God, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, Holy are you, and all holy, and sublime is your glory. Love the world so much that you gave your only begotten Son. Everyone who believes in him should not perish, but should enter. which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Most honorable and sublime name, 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having received them on his holy, most heavenly and mystical altar, as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, may bestow upon us in return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God. By your grace, o Lord, have mercy. For they that in all things will be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Pray, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. transgressions, let us beseech the Lord. It all. For all that is good and profitable to our souls and for the peace of the world, let us beseech the Lord. It all. That we pass the remainder of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. And for a good account at the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Having prayed for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Make us worthy, O Lord, with full confidence and without condemnation, to dare to call upon you, God, our Heavenly Father, and to say to you,
sick or healer of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and bounties and love towards mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, gracious and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. your spotless body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. <clears throat> be attentive, uh, holy things are for the holy. that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the penitent thief I confess to you. O Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom, O oh, Master, remember me when you come into your kingdom. O oh, Holy One, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Let the partaking of your holy mysteries, O oh Lord, be not for my judgment nor condemnation, but for the healing of my soul and my body. O Lord, I also believe and confess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and truly your life-giving blood, which I pray I may worthily receive for the remission of all of my sins and for life everlasting. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for my sins are many. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Forgive me if I have sinned against you in any way you have thought, whether voluntary or involuntary. Forgive me if I have sinned against you in any way you have thought, whether voluntary or involuntary. Precious Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Oh, 
Moses has touched your lips and shall take away your iniquities and shall cleanse you of all of your sins. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Have a seat a moment. Birthday greetings are extended this week to Tommy Nipple. Happy birthday, Tommy. To David Lucy, happy birthday this week, David. To Carla Varley, and to Anne Marie Milanarchak, happy birthday, Anne. Coffee Social this morning is sponsored by Evelyn Brudnack and Lynn Brudnack Kelly. Your 2017 Cathedral membership dues are due. If you have not fulfilled your financial obligation and would like to be considered a member of the Cathedral Parish, please do so. If you cannot afford to fulfill your financial obligation but still would like to be a member, please let me know so that you will not be removed from the membership list. Thank you to all who made our trivia night a great success that it was. Special thank you to Susan Kolchik and Nick Bacher, who acted as chairpersons of the event. And to all the kids, there was a lot of workers. We had much, much help. Everybody pulled their weight. Everybody did a fantastic job. It was very successful. Thank every one of you for your hard work. Much to read in the bulletin. Christmas Nut Roll Cell, Cathedral Christmas Party, Sunday School Christmas Pageant Practices, Sunday School Christmas Candy Cell, I think the orders are due today, Johnstown Tomahawks Hockey Outing, Special Collections the next two weeks, details for these and much, much more found in this week's bulletin. Vespers for the Feast of the Archangel Michael for this afternoon has been moved up to 3 p.m. Vespers this afternoon have been moved to 3 p.m. Panahita this morning for Vladimir Roscoe, um, for Catherine Butchak, that's my grandma Butch. It's not that she was a Butch person, but that's short for Butchak. Grandma Butch, and for Julia Masoriak, Elsie Deleba, Andrew Kret, and Eric Dussling. Good to see all of you this morning. We will see you all at the coffee session. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and forever. To the prayers of a holy father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of the 33 martyrs of Melaniti, whose memory we keep to stay, and through the prayers of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and he loves mankind. This morning, peace, health, and long life for many happy and blessed years. God them many years. God them many years. God them many, 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 many
Your love, uh, Andrew S. Pratt.